morning, Highlands. My name is Officer Harris, and I'm filling in for your Scotty News anchor. We are glad you are here today. Today in history, in 1986, in a much-hyped television special, American journalist Geraldo Rivera opened a vault that was found in the former headquarters of Chicago gangster Al Capone. However, he and an estimated 30 million TV viewers discovered that it was empty. Also in 1938, American naturalist and writer John Muir was born in Scotland. He was an advocate of the U.S. forest conservation and was largely responsible for the establishment of both Sequoia National Park and Yosemite National Park in California. And here is the 21st edition of April Scotty News. In sports news, our softball team will be playing here at home at 4 p.m. It's Thankful Thursday, and you know what that means. Shout out time. An anonymous friend would like to say, Thank you, Connor Allen, for being a supportive friend and being there for me no matter what and giving me great advice. You've been such an amazing friend to me. Aiden Brinkley says, I want to shout out Emilio Mendez because he's a great person and a joy to have, but he makes the best music and very smart. Find him at SoundCloud, YouTube, and Spotify. Another anonymous friend says, I want to give a shout out to Connor Allen, Trace Harris, and Ryan Hardy. They always make a way to make people around them smile and always try to encourage their friends, even if they're not feeling well. Mr. Fitzgerald was, has a shout out to two students, both in his third hour. At different times, they've had painting projects, and Josh Akona and Daniel Mraz have been extra helpful cleaning up sink areas, brushes, floors, tables, etc., going above the call of duty. Thanks! Mrs. Nicholas has a ton of shout outs, which is wonderful. Here they are. Kevin Arenteria, making great progress and good choices. Raymond Cortez, improved behavior and academics. Irving Berrigan, Daniel Ber Beretta, Anna Campos, Joshua Morales Sanchez, Melina Rubero, for always striving to do their best and never giving up when the work becomes challenging. Delia Guillen for improved behavior and academic progress. Tara Avis for her passion to become a teacher. Way to rock your presentation. You pulled off the look of an elementary school teacher on Tuesday. Oscar Cardona, Alexei Arola, Axel Juarez, Richard Paredes, Elisette Robles, Athena Torres, Jose Trujillo, Salvador Villegas, Ramesses Williams, and Jaden Willingham. Whew! For striving to do your best each and every day. Gail Villalobos for improved attendance and academic progress. Mr. Dudley has a special shout out to his peers. He would like to shout out Mrs. Yahiawi, Mr. Weens, and Mr. Cooper for helping him transition into his current role teaching 6th and 7th grade science. Teamwork works the dream work, and he greatly appreciates all the help. Mr. Matt Smith wants to shout out to the following. Alan Torres for creating an artistic and detailed theme poster. Jackson Sagadon for, all, for always being positive and kind to others. Brady Brothers for doing his assignments with detail and understanding my football references. Good work, Brady. Jacqueline De Jesus Vaca would like to shout out all that Chloe Aviles has done for her. She is always there when Jacqueline needs her, and they both pick up trash on the floor when there is a mess. Also, it's Chloe's birthday today. Happy birthday, Chloe. If you want to do a shout out to someone, just send Mrs. Davis an email. And remember, today at lunch, none other than Miss Washington, Maddie Louder, will be here to talk to us during our lunches. Mrs. Davis has front-of-the-line lunch passes for those attending. Miss Washington has a service plan that revolves around mental health and taking care of ourselves. Here is a message from her. It's Maddie Louder, Miss Washington 2021. I am so excited to be stopping by your school soon, but in the meantime, I have a public service announcement for you on mental health. My first tip for you is to find coping skills that work for you. Not every coping skill is going to work for everyone, and that's okay. So it's important to find things that really work for you and whatever stressors you're facing in your life. Some really good examples of positive coping skills that you can use are things like building in a support system. Find friends and family or trusted adults that you can talk to in order to share your burdens with someone else. Another good coping skill is to find ways to relax. That can be things like reading, journaling, coloring, drawing, maybe even sitting outside and getting some fresh air. 
And then lastly, one of my favorite coping skills is practicing mindfulness, taking a couple deep breaths to center and calm your body. That's what I have for you today. Build some coping skills that are going to help increase your mental health support. It's not too late to meet her. Just send Mrs. Davis an email right now so she can get a pass to you or go to the library during your lunchtime. Thanks for watching Scotty News. Gracias por ver a Scotty News.